So this is an instructional video telling you how to attach the wheel kit for the Duristar DS4000S generator, uh, which I have here. Shipping weight on this was about 95 pounds. Uh, add to that four gallons of gas, you're looking at something probably too heavy for one person to lug around. So yes, we did go with the optional wheel kit, about $40 on Amazon. You can see it comes with two wheels, handle, and two feet, which are already attached here. Um, unfortunately, the instructions that came with this kit were severely lacking. The parts list here tells you what you can expect to find, but unfortunately there's no indication of what corresponds to what, so you're pretty much left on your own there. Also, the instructions themselves are pretty vague. Pictures too small, dark, and zoomed in to really tell what's going on. And yeah, to top it all off, there's no picture anywhere showing what it looks like with wheels attached. So for that, you have to head to Amazon. That at least will show you what it looks like assembled. So yeah, the feet I've already screwed in. Um, they go on the, the pull cord end and the axle already attached also. Uh, that gets put on, on the muffler end. Uh, whether you attach a wheel kit or not, uh, you need to flip the generator over on receiving it to remove this shipping brace, which was, uh, I believe, right here. Uh, and then there was also a wood block you have to remove. But uh, yeah, the assembly was quite difficult, especially with the poor instructions, because you can see there were rubber feet below. Uh, if you don't use the wheel kit, there are four rubber feet, and two of them are directly below where this axle attaches. So uh, they just get in the way, um, incredibly so. Uh, you can see I used a clamp, which made it pretty easy, pressing it down so I could screw things in. Um, some people, in their frustration, they removed the rubber feet entirely, or, or sawed them off, or who knows what. But that's not necessary, but it is quite difficult. Uh, without some help. Maybe a second person pressing down if you don't have a clamp, but yeah, it is possible to get them securely screwed in, uh, even with the rubber feet left on. Um, I recommend using a, a socket wrench or some, something similar because uh, yeah, some of the spaces are tight. But after, after you have the axle on, I'll grab a foot, uh, grab a wheel here, um, they say to use a washer before you put it on, but that is not included with the kit, so I guess I'm going to be finding my own. Um, then you take a pin, goes in a hole here, um, and then you have to bend out the ends of the pin to keep it in place. So yeah, after those are attached, you flip it back over uh, to attach the handle. Here you can see the two pieces. Not, not screwed in, but where they would go eventually. And yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, hope this helps you in assembling your wheel kit.